What's up, y'all? Hunter Dill here from Philly Insider Podcast. We've got some Phillies free agency news, obviously. Quicker turnaround for free agency from the World Series than other major sports in the U.S. And Gene Segur will probably not be a Philadelphia Philly next year. His option was declined. No surprise there, but um, I'm, I'm wearing the Jimmy Six jersey right now. Clutch Gene, man. Uh, mean Gene Hip Machine. All the nicknames. Uh, for those who have followed the podcast for a bit, um, you know Gene's been one of my favorites during this this era of Phillies baseball. And I was so happy he finally got to get back to the playoffs. And um, I, I watched him a lot before he came to Philadelphia, too. I really liked the way he played. And, you know, things didn't go didn't, didn't start out the way he would have wanted, I'm sure. You know, with the McCutcheon torn ACL play. Um, still struggle with hustle at times. <laughs> but, you know, uh, he, he gave up, uh, you know, he not give up he started to get in shape and um really take things seriously over the past couple years you know COVID year he even went to third base played well there um I was holding out a sliver of hope that maybe them maybe they would sign a shortstop move Stott to second Sergur to third and then boom to first but I knew that was a very very unlikely um uh, possibility so I knew it was you know very low chance um I just want to say thank you to Gene before I get to the other two free agents. There was news or free agents. One of them's not, but just thank you so much to Gene. Um, so many memorable moments. We, we wouldn't have made it that far on the run without him with the clutch hits he had over the years and in the playoffs this year. Um, just the guy you could rely on in the clutch, an above average defender at second base. Sure. If you only watched the playoffs, you saw that one error he made in that game, but if you watched him over the past year or two years, he, he really stepped up to the challenge there um, and still has that shortstop arm. <laughs> he can whip at the first base. I'll be fo- following Gene wherever he goes next, I- I'm, unless it's a division rival. Um, I'll still be following him, but I'm not going to be a fan of him <laughs> if he goes to a division rival. But I really hope he goes somewhere where I can cheer for him. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss him. I-, I know it was – I knew it had to happen if we wanted to go out and get one of the big names and um, – there's going to be kind of be a log jam in the middle infield and an infield in general. But uh, it, it, it hit me hard um, when I saw the news, I, even though I was kind of prepared for it. So you can keep me in your prayers. <laughs> I really will miss Gene. But anyway, other news, Zach Eflin um, is a free agent now. I'm interested to see what happens with him just in general because obviously, you know, teams have seen him as a starter, but we know because of the knee injuries that he is not a guy you want on the mound for a full season because he's probably not going to make it through the full season. And he's kind of a coin flip, but um, he, he does put some good starts out there. That being said, he you know while it was dicey sometimes as a reliever, he also really had some good outings down the stretch. And you know there's, there's hope there, but value will differ depending on whether he's a starter or a reliever, what role he's going to be in with a new team. And maybe the Phillies, you know, I, maybe the Phillies will come back and get him on a short deal. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera a little bit. It's a little cold in the car here, but... Um, and then Aaron Nola will be back, no surprise there, after the bounce back year he had. And um, look, I know people will criticize him for the last few starts. Guys, he, he threw like, what, 230 innings, and he was over his highest pitch count of, of a season by like 130 pitches. Like, that's tough. He hit a wall. It happens. Um, th- this is the farthest these guys have pitched in the season. And Aaron Nola, over the past, like, what, four or five years, has is among like the top in innings pitched and pitches thrown maybe the top um i'd have to check that for sure but um don't let that don't let that you know kind of distract from what he did this year in the bounce back season he had and um yeah huge credit to him but i just wanted to get a video out gene love you bro um i'm, I'm gonna miss you man i really do wish you the best wherever you go i'm, I'm still gonna wear the jimmy six jersey proudly um and yeah let me know your guys thoughts on the moves i'm, I'm sure we'll have some videos coming out on there, there's plenty of rumors that are going to be swirling and plenty of players the Phillies could go out there and get um so Turner X-Man a couple other shortstops out there let's see if we can get something done um because that's the only (laughs) only way I'll be able to to deal with this gene news but hey thank you all for watching I appreciate it tough way for that run to end Phillies World Series but um I'm I'm really a few days later I'm looking at it very positively and I'm very thankful for the run they went on and how magical it was while it lasted. So um, let's go, Phils. Hey, less than 100 days till pitchers and catchers report. That's the best part about going deep in the postseason. Did not do too long of a wait until spring training. So um, God bless y'all. I will see y'all later. Um, ring the bell, smash the bell.